Hey folks, Viva la France! Yeah, my wife watches the uh, World Cup. But we <laughs> are going to pull out another edition of my review on the Red Book of Magic. Dark team, well, I'm sorry, beginning, beginning with F spells. Base Chaos, same as before. A couple things to point out. Cannot be resisted. Can only be cast on non chaotic targets. Allows the, the recipient or the target to stand their ground against any chaotic foe. Um, even if they would otherwise flee. Okay, each additional point adds an additional target. Good to go. Okay, spell does not render the targets immune to spells like Demoralize and Panic. So if you if you have a face chaos spell cast on a target and somebody cast demoralize on that target they stand their ground and continue fighting just to you know have attack skill because that's what demoralize does right panic spider cannot fight at all but does not flee interesting okay false form this is a new one and i like this because i've had my player characters run into ogres at least once so far Okay, so this spell gives an ogre caster the semblance of a normal human to all senses, including non-human ones. Lasts for eight weeks, the special duration. Spell hides the cacodamon Caco, cult mark and allows the members to pass as human. Extension will not work on the spell, hence the special duration. Okay, no new one. Fang of Wakaza. Must be cast on a spear, javelin, dart, or trident. Not arrows, not rapiers or daggers, other thrusting type weapons. Maybe because these, well, arrows always impale. Okay, well, anyway, so I'm not sure about this. Maybe it's a Wakaza thing. But uh, anyone struck by the weapon must resist using their constitution against the actual damage taken after penetrating the armor. If they resist successfully, they take normal damage. If they fail, they die. That is steep. Okay, Fangs, another new one. Works only on initiates and room masters of the Crimson Bat. So obviously this spell is one of the list of Crimson Bat spells. Okay, causes huge red fangs. Large, sharpie teeth. Uh, to grow from the mouth of the target, they get a 50% base chance to bite, plus modifiers. Um, and the fangs do 2d6 damage, plus damage bonus. Um, also, they secrete acid with a potency equal to the target's constitution. That's severe. And of course, the target is immune to that acid. Okay, fear. Same as the old book. Intense, incapacitating fear, um, but you have to overcome their power. And then based upon the success level of that power versus power roll, you get an effect. Critical, the victim dies of fear. Fumble, victim unaffected. And varying degrees there from collapsing, demoralized, um, intelligent, intelligent beings unaffected, unintelligent creatures demoralized. Okay, so fearless, also original spell. Provides immunity to fear, including magically induced fear, like demoralized fear and madness. Although, you can still choose to flee. Okay, new spell, Feather Scales. This is kind of interesting. Long, dense, feathery clouds of scales coat the, it says user's body. It should be the target's body. It doesn't say self, it says touch. The <clears throat> target's body. These increase the user's target's armor, all location by two points. Um, the scales are loose and they come off easily. So whenever they're hit by a weapon, that weapon gets gummed up with all these feathery scales, right? So they become blunted and padded doing half damage until they're cleaned off. To clean them off takes an entire melee round, right? Um, you can do nothing else except for Pick stuff off, and it takes a dex times one roll. Holy cow. That's difficult. Well, 60%. Maybe not. 
But still, holy cow, that's the number of rounds you're going to end up losing. Doing nothing. <laughs> okay, new spell, Feed Ghosts. The caster must sacrifice a member of their own species. In doing so, all of the ghosts and wraiths within 100 meters are drawn to feast on the soul of the newly departed. Each additional point, because it's stackable, although it's only one use, increases that raise by 100 meters. It takes an hour per, well, it says spell point. I'm assuming they mean room point in order to perform this spell. And when it's finished, all those ghosts are drawn to this site. All the ghosts that are drawn to the site become satiated and must return to the spirit world for one day per point of power that the sacrificed person had. A note, this only attracts ghosts and wraiths of the same species as the caster and the victim, because the victim must be the same as the caster. Okay, new spell, fertilize. 12-hour ritual. I meant to look this up. What bonus is that? Okay, restores all of the soil. Um, well, restores to the soil all of, you know, organic, mineral, life-supporting stuff, right? For one hide of land. So the actual yield of the land is based on the original fertility of the soil. So somewhere, and I mentioned this in weapons and equipment, we need to have rules on the degradation of the fertility of the land. Now it mentions that you know a year of neglect should drop you um, one category of they don't use fertility, it's a different term, right? Of of that hide. So would casting the spell affect that? Can you increase the uh, output of a hide of land to a higher level of fertility? using this spell? And if so, do you have to cast it every season or just one or what? I don't know, big question mark. Okay, fight disease, same. Doubles your constitution to fight disease and gives you plus 25 in your spirit combat. Find enemy, same. Psychically, no, if anyone within range intends you harm, you can cast this on somebody else, which both of you, in which case you sense someone who desires harm to either of the two. Um, but it is blocked by three or more meters of a solid substance. Uh, fine substance, same as the old one. The presence of the substance gives off a slight glow, visible only to the caster, right? It can be hidden, oh, it detects hidden objects, unless they're behind three or more meters of solid stone, soil, metal. Oh, I'm sorry. I went too far, didn't I? I did. I meant to end with find enemies. That's where we'll end. So we'll probably do fine substance again next time. <laughs> Happy gaming.